talk about. That's good enough. Just you and me talking Both about. Both side. Just bullshitting, you know. Yeah. We're live. We're live now? We are live. Welcome to the point. art show. Yeah. We haven't shown up on the website yet. Set it up to one. Oh, oh no. Go. Here we go. Hey, why is that happening? Coming. <laughs> I gotta mute that. <laughs> oh no. Shh. Shut up. <laughs> There's a delay. There is a delay. <clears throat> Good to know. I've quieted and quieted it down. It. Yeah. Go go ahead and mute that. Um, I want to see if I can get anyone else to join our chat. It has a neat thing where um, if they click that be part of the conversation, it opens up a box where they can type their questions and we get to see them. Ooh, you don't say. It's a nice bonus. Oh, is it? Where is, where is it? On, On the, the website, if you're looking at the stream, it says be part of the conversation. Hmm. Hello. 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 Can you guys see Welcome. Me? Be part of the conversation. I don't see that. Be you. part of the conversation. We can You're. see you. Are you are you looking at it on the website, Jesse? Yeah. Is it on the front page or is it on the gallery page? On the gallery page. Right on the YouTube video itself. Oh, I see. Never mind. Okay. You got it. All right. Welcome, Stefan, art the Hello. artist of the of the art show. The show of art. The artist of the art show. Welcome to the hangout. Welcome to the gallery hangout. Cool. Are there refreshments? I made you a have gym. to provide your own. It's a shame. Sure. <laughs> Oh, should you. probably hold this very con <laughs> condensed, like condensation just falling on the computer. Yeah. Don't do that. You need a good coaster. Right. Looking kind of washed out. You've got some hot lighting. It's like you've got some kind of filter on you. Uh oh. Ooh. <laughs> uh -oh <laughs> it's purposeful. Is that that's that's kind of I don't know. I don't know. There's light. Now I'm just half washed out. That's fine. That's dramatic. Different filter. It's the, uh, I don't know Instagram filters, so I was going to yeah. name one, but I don't know any of them. <laughs> the Hudson filter. That's that one. The Hepe. <clears throat> yeah. Did you see the number to call? No. Sorry. Or just some real, real life questioning. So yeah. I wonder if uh, yeah. Veronica Chanfrano is going to join the video chat. She's she was uh, in the gallery. I know. I, yeah. I see her walking around there. Maybe There's she's not ready. Me. She's not ready to to be. Uh... Oh, so Veronica what? was asking questions in the gallery. She was asking you about what filter you put on Diana's car crash. Uh, let's see. So she's not here. But um, it was actually something from uh, Pixel... Uh, what is it? Pixlr-O-Matic. Um, uh -huh. And then I actually... For all the, the tragedy ones, I ran them through multiple. I ran uh -huh. them through Pixlr and uh, Instagram. Um, that's where some of these... The effects are actually a little bit more... I don't know, pleasing? I guess uh -huh. is maybe not the right word. Um, I kind of I kind of took some liberties with those, just to see what I could get. Let me see if I can. Whoops. Let me see if I can go respond to her. There's a, there's a slight delay in our video, so if she's on the website. She'll uh, hear you in about thirty seconds. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. If she's on the website. If she's if she's there, it says she's there, but who knows. So yeah.
I really like the, um, I know it's not in the gallery, but it's on the, the Facebook page, the image of the Challenger explosion. Oh, no, it's there. Oh, that's one of the ones in the gallery? Yeah, I think it's right next to my statement. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. There it is. I did. Yeah, it's, just, it's such a, it's an image that I just, you know, is like burned into your brain. Yeah. Yeah. From my childhood, you know. I still remember the day that it happened. Yeah. I remember they uh, they actually put it on TV. I was in elementary school and we watched it and saw the whole thing happen. And of course, then they had to explain everything to us, and they didn't even really know what was going on themselves. Yeah, I remember. I remember there was a running uh, theory that one of my classmates was convinced that they had a guy that would shoot off the booster rockets with a gun and that he missed, and it was just this ridiculous thing. I don't even know why oh, I brought that. <laughs> that, that, was pretty, that guy. <laughs> he was just, I think he was one of the same people that believed that the hoverboards were real. Back to the future. Okay. Um, yeah. I, did, I did take down an image today, and I, I sent, Jesse, I sent you a, uh, a little thing about it. It was it was about the TWA Flight uh -huh. 800 uh, crash, and after the Ukraine uh, shooting down of the airplane today, I kind of felt I, I want people to be I want people to have a reaction to the work, but maybe not necessarily that exact reaction the day that something happens. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're talking a little bit about di like wanting there to be distance between. Isn't that part of it? Like these disasters that are fairly far past, and it's like yeah. that's very fresh. It calls up an image that's fresh now again. Unfortunately. Yeah, so. and yeah, you know, I mean there are, there are some that are still relatively recent. You know, past several years. Even even one this year, the Harlem, was taken from. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think it's actually from Metro North's uh, uh, like Twitter feed or something. Mm -hmm. and, uh, that that was one that really that that was the whole that event was actually what inspired that whole project. Um, this whole yeah. hopefully hopefully you guys get the hashtag oh my god so tragic title. Um, it can be kind of I don't know it kind kind of can be a little Maybe a little inappropriate, but I think I think that's my point. <laughs> yeah, I went onto Twitter and looked up some of those hashtags and, and got the sense that you were being a, <laughs> kind of ironic. Yeah, and uh, definitely go check out the New York Fire Department. I I can't wait to have them respond to something and take a picture of it and have it heavily filtered, almost as much as some of these images. <laughs> They're pretty bad. I was uh, I was surprised. I'm surprised that people don't react to it. Maybe we're, maybe we're just so used to it at this point that we don't even think about it anymore. Right. Yeah. Which is also kind of the point. Yeah, I almost wondered, you know, that Challenger image when I when I saw it on the Facebook page, I just knew immediately what it was, and it makes me wonder if you know, will kids have images that do that anymore, or are there just so many pictures out there, and they're treated in so many different ways that nothing will really stand out? Yeah, I mean, it really makes me question, you know, what is authentic, and what are we actually, what are we actually going to remember from these events now? And, and yeah. I actually was, just before, you know, like around 6 o'clock, I was actually looking through whatever images had surfaced about the, uh, the Malaysian uh, jetliner today, I was looking through and actually pretty happy to see that there, I didn't find any anyways that looked like somebody, you know, hashtag, you know, whatever, and threw a filter on it, and, you know, I, they, they seem to be fairly professional so far. I'm, I would not be surprised if something like this turned up with that. You know, I don't know. Yeah. It's kind of a little commentary on where we're at. Yeah. I mean, I I didn't even really, I've 
not been watching the news or listening to the radio, so I don't I don't know a lot of the details of what of what happened today. I just know like a, what basically I had to take my mom to the doctor, so the, the news on in the waiting room. I was like, it just does feel like every few months there's always something, some other horrible thing where you're like, there's some part of you that. It stops being shocked. <laughs> yeah, <I guess>. absolutely. <laughs> and they're like, oh, well, so what now? What happened now? Yeah, we're right, definitely great. becoming desensitized to it. In some ways, it's good. I think it helps us uh, deal with things a little bit better. Um, but at the same time, I wonder how much of this, you know, this project is actually responsible for that desensitizing. You know, like when we really want to make everything more pleasing and we're looking for a lot of hits or a lot of visits or whatever, you know, are we really thinking about the, the real life consequences of it? So, I don't know. Yeah, well, I mean, I definitely feel like, so, the, with a lot of news cycles with these sorts of events, the news, there's like almost a sort of glee that with which when you're listening to the radio or the news that it's like they don't want bad things happen, but they, like, get really excited about reporting oh, on these real. things, <laughs> you know, and you're kind of like, you guys are liking this, you're enjoying this a little bit much, I can tell, you Yeah, it's, and it's like, it's one of those uncomfortable things, like, when somebody posts, this is a Facebook example, somebody posts about something horrible that just happened, and then people like it, and it's, you know, <laughs> we're, <Right. laughs> Yeah, like, they need yeah, a dog is dying. Oh, I like it. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're like, there should be another button that's somewhere yeah. between like and dislike. I don't know. Acknowledged. <laughs> yeah, acknowledged or like <laughs> an empathy button. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Matt, is that your uh, feed of the gallery? Yeah, I um, I just shared shared the screen so. Cool. In this recording, people could see the, the work. We did have a few people in there before, and they weren't all Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, I don't know. I mean, I my expectations are kind of low uh, for turnout, but I, I don't know. How, to, how many do you guys usually get for these things? Um, it varies. Um, I would say, uh, I don't know what, what, what our last what the numbers were on our last show, the um, video game art museum. I think it was like 100. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It was a while ago. So it, it kind of, it does vary. And it's the summer, so you just never know where people are going to, they want to be inside in the summer. Yeah, it's still daylight out, too. But, so. <laughs> you know. Yeah, probably pick up a little bit later. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm it's not... Like it. <laughs> like anywhere the first few minutes no one wants to be the first one to the party so I, mean, so. I really like this one uh, there's something about it that I like a lot yeah th I found myself really enjoying just the, the you know just these images on their own and I um I was really wanting to use all new imagery for these and for this exhibit and that's why I, I kind of just it's like, well, let's see what, what a gray square looks like. And I still don't really know how I feel about whether I am, you know, I did create these, but I don't know if I really feel like they're mine to a degree. Does that make sense? Yeah, so for, for the filter, um, just the images that are filtered color, what, like, so what was the process? As someone who doesn't use Instagram at all, like, what did you, was, and uh, for the folks at home? Yeah, process was I basically took a, um, a you know a blank image. Uh, it was either all for originally it was all white or all black, and then these are 50% uh, gray, and I just uploaded them uh, through the through the app, and just it's very simple. I just really just ran the the gray square through each filter, and these details are what the Instagram technicians, uh, programmers, basically uh -huh. created to then modify our images in the appropriate way, you know, and and give them, you know, whichever 
feel they want to give. Um, you know, a little bit of nostalgia, a little bit of noise, um, mm. and you know, it's just it's really it, being a teacher, uh, teaching photography, really on my mind in class a lot because I'll get students yeah. coming and saying, "Oh, look at how great this image is," and it makes me wonder how much of it. How much of their image do they actually enjoy because it's theirs, or how much yeah. of their image are they enjoying, or do people like that is because of the programmer who made it and uh, yeah. and made it look that way? So there's, I try to there's keep a my question of, very light on these. There's a question of ownership there, right? If you take an image and then you're using a program designed by another person, absolutely. How much of what's happened is on you, and how much of it is on someone else's creation, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, some of these, it is very interesting to think about images that are pretty much 100% digital, and some of them are kind of atmospheric. Uh, I don't, I can't remember, because um, like looking at these images on the blog, obviously we have to, as we watch the screen and we're centering on images, there's a little pixelation as, as you know, you're you know, uh, the browser, you know, clarifies everything. So, but as a static image, some of them are very, feel like almost tactile to some degree. Like it's, you know, almost like an image of mist or fog, mm -hmm. but they're, they do not <laughs> exist in any reality. They yeah, only exist on this computer reality. They've never existed in any other form. And I've actually given thought if I'd even want to, attempt to print them or you yeah. know, if I ever display them in the, the actual world. Um, maybe present them on a bunch of old iPhones. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it does... It, the presentation does seem like it would be... It would have to really fit, you know, fit that idea. Because just printing yeah. it on paper doesn't seem like... I don't know, unless you went really tactile with how you printed them. Yeah, and went completely the other way, but I do kind of like the idea of then you're presenting it on another screen situation. But um, yeah, it is, and then now we're in a completely a virtual space, which is mimicking a a real quote unquote real space with these images that don't exist. <laughs> I don't know. It's a very kind of meta. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I enjoy it. I'm really grateful for the opportunity. It kept me, kept me doing, uh, you know, kept me making work that I, I usually don't, you know, this is a totally different type of project for me. Um, and I usually, I don't, the only, the only image that I even did for the entire um, residency that was actually from a photograph of mine was the, um, I don't know if you saw. There was an image of a fire of a couple of firemen on a house, and that was the image I wa really wanted to try to I wanted to present this idea, but present it in a way that was a little bit, um, maybe a little bit more personal in a way to kind of kind of ease into the whole. Um, I don't know, ease into the whole project for anybody who might have been reading or watching. Um, mm -hmm the blog so um, but everything else I I I yes I put them together but I, I still that idea of ownership and authorship I really don't know how where I stand on that and how I feel about it yeah so. I, I find that in a lot of different regards be it in a digital sense or even just you know, artists who have to utilize full stables of you know, um, studio assistants or it's like making things that they really could not make and let, like where someone else is doing a lot of the work and that the main artist is kind of the idea person. There are times when I struggle with that idea of like how much is of this is yours. <laughs> I don't know. Like I, I think I, I swing backwards and forwards on that. Yeah, so. no, I mean, and that's, that's throughout history. It's not even just, you know, with yeah. modern work. I mean, you know. Andy Warhol probably only made a couple of his pieces of work, but I mean, going back even further, you know, um, all the great painters that we could walk through the Met and see, they've all had this documentation on that a lot of their assistants actually painted the, um, 
paintings for them, and they just went in and signed their name, so to speak. Yeah, so <laughs> kind of like, oh, but I mean, we're far enough away from that to, to, to I don't know, have a, a different picture of what, you know, work, art, artworks of the past are in masterpieces, but it's yeah. like, no, there's this stuff is not just, it's not necessarily new. Yeah. You know? So, have to figure out how you, like, personally feel about it. And it's, I mean, these things always, like, if you're going to stay active in thinking about art or making art, it makes sense to reevaluate any kind of idea, like, position you have over and over, I guess. Yeah. Um, if you're going to stay current, stay fresh with yourself, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a hygiene commercial. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So yeah. Um. So it, I guess it's it's worth stating to the general public that um in your usual studio practice you're not as big on um digital manipulation, right? Like you're oh, more of a yeah. 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 So this is a real kind of departure in a lot of ways. Yeah. Very. Yeah. Huge departure. This is very unusual for me. Um, I even put up a disclaimer when I first presented the the whole project and residency to Facebook friends. I'm like, you guys are not going to recognize this as being anything like you'd know of my work. Just yeah, you know, a, to a totally different exercise, which I think is good. I was feeling there's a, there's been a couple of years, a couple of times over the past few years that I felt kind of stagnant my chosen medium, so it's nice to... Yeah, to I mean, it's, uh, it's good to, because, I mean, both both Matt and I have had residencies. We are kind of like the guinea pigs for residencies for this site to kind of yep. figure out, you know, what sort of things we were looking for and, you know, what our specifications were. So I'm definitely someone who likes making... Um, physical objects generally, and I, yeah. the tactile is very important to me. So I like had to figure out, you know, how to make a project that fits what we're looking for here, and isn't just taking a physical object that I made out in the world and putting it online. Like, how do you do that? And it definitely pushes you to kind of, I don't know, towards something or away from something, and I don't know. Yeah. No, it's good to. I mean, that was probably the best thing that the best part of grad school was being, you know, basically shaken up and forced to rethink things, mm -hmm. and, you know, and trying something completely new, I think, really is good for that, kind of kind of flushes out some of the stagnant ideas that you've got going yeah. on. Like, when I started, when I started really looking into and doing more of this, and then, you know, I, I branched out into that other, pro that other project I've shared with you, that wall project, um, my ideas for photography projects really started to flow again, you know, and I mean, Jess, Jess, you teach, right? Um, yeah, I just started. <laughs> just started. And Matt, are you, do you teach at all? Uh, I've taught sort of high school level primarily. Yeah, and there's something I, I found while teaching, and I don't know if you've, ex if either of you have experienced it or experienced it yet, um, when you have to come up with ideas for, you know, I had over a hundred, I had a hundred students throughout all my classes last semester. And when you have to come up with unique and individual ideas for them, you tend to kind of get drained on your own ideas for what you want to maybe pursue. You know, yeah. you want to keep your work separate enough from them. And uh, it's definitely good. This has been a great experience. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's hard because you. <laughs> want to there's a point at which if you're talking a lot there's a that you get sick of your own voice and Absolutely. then <laughs> so then when you come home you're supposed to be creating something which is maybe it's not your verbal voice but it's a voice of yours and you're like I'm just sick of me I don't want yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you make if you also happen to make personal work I think it is even it can make it even more of a stumbling block where you're like, I don't, I don't have any good ideas anymore. <laughs> I'm so tired of myself. <laughs> yeah, definitely, I've definitely been there. Yeah, I mean, I don't really have. I don't know that I've had because I'm teaching. I'm not teaching majors, so like everything is kind of new to them, and half of them aren't really even interested anyway. <laughs> so yeah, it's like so its own problem. 
<laughs> it's always an issue. Yeah, so I don't know. It's definitely there's a point where you're like, I don't, I got nothing. I don't know. I've I've definitely been feeling a little bit like, uh, you know, you make work for I don't know. It's been 15 years or so, something like that. You're like trying to look at the cycles of thinking and making you've been through, and kind of like. What's my point? <laughs> I don't know anymore. Yeah. <laughs> What's the point? Definitely, uh, definitely easy to get uh, into that mindset. I think. Yeah. Sometimes. Then you go. Well, I don't know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm sure I have a point somewhere. It'll become clear to me at some point. <laughs> I don't know. You don't have that problem, Matt. You know, you Never. Just, you, can just, you can just step out of this conversation. You know, I always know why I, I'm doing what I'm doing. You always know. You always, always. have to <laughs> So, yeah. We got a we got a visitor there reading your wall text, so maybe. Uh, if he has any questions, he or she. It's I find it unfortunate that the default guest persona has to be a male. <laughs> is is it though, Veronica's a lady, isn't she? Yeah, but she's she? logged in, right? So when you just oh, show up on the website and you show up uh, as a guest, and and I gotcha. the, uh, who's that thing? the gallery so makes something that's kind of androgynous. It gives you an, a, a default gender. I gotcha, or default non-gender. So maybe if it is nothing, then that's best. Here you're in the middle. Yeah. So um, maybe if uh, guest number five thirty seven wants to add a question, they can uh, type it into the Q and A box yeah. or go in the video chat if they want. They want. Yeah. I got to admit this um this interface took a little bit of getting used to. <laughs> with, <laughs> with Which one? The the three D boss. Yeah. When I um. You know, not today, not wandering around, but trying to get the work up onto the wall and not knowing how to, not even knowing that I could change its positioning, or then trying to figure out how exactly to do that was a uh, was definitely could have probably giving you a little more instruction in that regard. <laughs> oh, <laughs> record a little. Uh, <laughs> I'm clever. Video. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, it's it's also it's very. Um, you know, obviously when you hang shows in the physical real world, you, you don't get to say, I want this one to be huge. I want yeah. this one to be no, small. Really it really nice. does <laughs> kind of blow your mind that you can, you have full reign and you're like, oh, okay. Like, yeah. I don't know. I have to, like, what should be small? I don't know anymore. It's easy to want to just make them all. I was, I was just second guessing that. Today. I was like, should I make them smaller? And then I realized, I remembered why I made them bigger. Um, was that with 20 in this space, it actually looked kind of, kind of sparse. Mm -hmm. um, and I felt like, yeah. well, I was making basically making them larger to make them fill the space a little bit better. Um, it would be nice if they had some chalk lines on the wall so you could tell <laughs> that they're all the right height. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I also think that they set it up so there's you can do three different sizes of gallery. Yeah. But I, they all have two rooms, and I think that they set that up so that you can have a video room and then a oh okay still uh -huh. image room so that you don't have to listen to the video the entire time. Yeah, that's the you thing. You tend to mix it up, but plus the video videos loop. That's what we yeah. found out for our first our first opening. We had our manifesto-ish, uh, like, this is who we are video. So, you know, it's four hours. That was a four-hour opening. It was four hours of us on a loop <laughs> being, being like, what's manifesto-ish? I don't know. Let's, here's, How many minutes of a video it. was it? That kept was that? How many minutes was the video that kept looping? Ah, uh, was it the, it was either, we have two versions. One is three minutes long and one is six. I'm not sure which version it was. And then every time you left the gallery and came back in, it would start. It would reset, it. Start it would reset itself. And so you hear this song in the background start, and you're just like, oh, my God, I can't hear it again. Yeah, I had to mute myself. Like a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. 
So, but then you mute, if you mute, you couldn't just mute the video, you have to mute your computer, and then you can't tell if people are coming into the gallery space, so it's like, I don't know. <laughs> Live and learn, yeah, put it in a different room. <laughs> put it in a different room, please. I don't want to hear it. Um, yeah, so, but it is cool. We've had it, we had a different a video piece in a show of, um, that Matt curated, the binary show, had, and th but that audio is very kind of ambient. Mm -hmm. so there was a lot less kind of, you know, kind of a in your just you you did, you could kind of lose track of where the audio was a little bit more gotcha. so So, um, yeah. So so do you have any um, physical shows coming up in any way, or have you uh, been focusing on? Nothing on the books yet. Mm -hmm. uh, always trying to keep my eyes and ears open. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's a process, right? Yeah, getting those things together. <laughs> it's a, a full-time job, and I just don't have the resources. You have a full-time job. <laughs> <I know. laughs> it's a second full-time job. I know. It's it is exhausting. I will say. You um, just had um. You just you and Veronica just did a show in Pittsburgh, right? And Matt and Mr. Matt, it was a manifestoish show actually, um, yeah, which is we um that we had a digital <laughs> ga gallery show to go with our physical gallery show. We're okay. actually going to have a closing in Pittsburgh. Matt and I are going to go and represent manifestoish. So that closing is uh, July twenty fifth. So it's next Excellent. Friday. Yeah, so it went it went pretty pretty well. Pretty happy with it. So that was our first physical show for Manifesto ish. Um, yeah, so nice. and it went well. Yeah, it w I think it went really well. Um, the show was well attended. Um, we got to stream live from the gallery, so it was kind of an interesting blend of what we do online and. Um, bringing that into a like a quote unquote real gallery space it's kind yeah. of an interesting <laughs> process but for having not known anyone in Pittsburgh we had a pretty good showing I would say <laughs> we have no Pittsburgh connections whatsoever um yeah so it went pretty well it was tiring though I'll admit getting out there Pittsburgh's not close to any of us no found out. Pittsburgh's not close to anything <laughs> Close to Ohio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. I'm sure there's some mines out there too. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere out there. Um, yeah. So were there? So in in your kind of process of, I guess it's worth kind of going over. You know, you had a few different kind of cycles of projects you did during your residency. So we had. You know, your grayscales, the, the filtration, color filtration kind yeah. of body of work, um, the disaster body of work, which obviously both are within the gallery. And then you had, was it, were they all portraits of lead, like politicians or are they older? Like, no, those were all, um, those were all uh, pioneers in. Pioneer. The, um, in, no, in the, uh, in, in photography, in the early days of photography. Um, and I, I tried to, I was originally trying to keep them close to their, to their, uh, type of, um, processing and mm -hmm. the, the appropriate filters for, for each, but, um, I don't know, some of the feedback I'd gotten from you originally about the, the tragedy stuff was that it was kind of hard to know what was filtered and what wasn't, and that's kind of why I went a little bit took a little bit more liberty with um, these images and then with those images of the uh, uh, the photographers to um, make it a little bit more evident. Uh, yeah. I th there's some of them that really just don't they don't look much different once they are uh, not noticeably different anyways. You know, I actually I had I had a, I had quite a few that I had done and then posted on the blog. I actually have one that I took down because I just didn't feel comfortable with it anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, some of them some of them 
lend themselves to being filtered a lot more than others. Uh, so it, you know, I did I did take some artistic liberty with with what I how I modified them and how I chose not to. I'm just gonna show some of your the actual blog. Oh, okay. You have here. Yeah, my screen share. <laughs> can you see it? <laughs> yeah, I can definitely see it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll lock you on there. And so. these are these are actually all new renditions of all of those same. Yeah. Uh, the ones that I had used before. That's not my bacon martini though. <laughs> <laughs> That that's me. <laughs> uh, so what is who, this? What are these houses? What is that, that house? That was the that was the only image that I used for this entire thing that was actually an image of mine. Oh, so this is your this is the one you were talking about. Okay, yeah, I gotcha. This, this is just this was just kind of to bring into, um, you know, kind of enter into this part of the project. Oh, and the yeah. Liberty Bell is just kind of something silly that I was playing around with. I felt that was appropriate for manifesto ish. Uh, tidying that up for you. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, you had a whole kind of body of photo, like a kind of photoshopped paintings. You know, yeah. beautying up these paintings. Yeah, and there were actually, I there were there was at least one project that I that I remember specifically that I spent quite a bit of time on, and I just wasn't comfortable with it. I en ended mm -hmm. up not using it. Um, and it was funny because right when I started researching the project, there had been a news story about something similar. Um, I was taking, um, basically I was taking photos of, um, well-known, uh, criminals basically saying like mass murderers and... Mm -hmm. You know, terrorists and things like that, and I was, I was running them through um, a filtering program that would beautify people by making them, of course, skinnier. Um, mm -hmm. And I was doing that, and right at that same time, there was in the news a uh, a guy who was arrested in California and was getting all of the sympathy on Facebook. And people are sending him money because he happened to have a uh, an attractive. Uh, Mugshot. So I don't know, but I just, <laughs> yeah, I think I remember that. Like, but he's so handsome. I couldn't do much like, with that girl. There wasn't much <laughs> there to work with. <laughs> so here are those. Uh, we are talking about the pioneers yeah. in photo photographic history. All yeah. right. That's uh, Eastman Kodak. Yeah. Eastman. Uh, this is actually I forget his name offhand, but he um inventor basically got the Polaroid film process to be workable. Um, th this was part, part of this project was, I, I have a lot of students and a lot of times I get people saying, well, we can fix it later if we're not happy with it. Mm -hmm. and, um, this was just kind of an exercise in fixing some more noticeable um, kind of like Photoshop disasters. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's pretty awful. <laughs> yeah, I mean this this girl no, is obviously, no, but... <laughs> obviously hatched <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> so you know, I decided to go through and play around and see maybe what I came up with. And I I thought about doing something with these um, for the show, but I kind of liked having just the two bodies of work. Yeah, I think I think that uh, you did a good job of. Um, you know, it's it's difficult when you make a lot of images um, to decide what you know what stays and what goes. And I think um, I think that you did a good job trying not trying to fit too many kind of ideas into one space. You yeah, know, I felt like simple kind of, simple was better. Yeah, which which um which makes sense. All right. Now so, we've got we might have multiple guests. Oh my! Oh my God! They're all men. Oh. They're all the women. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the, those ladies? Hello. I mean, I'm very interested. I mean, this is the first time really doing this with other people here, but the whole uh, the women, the female avatar has this weird midsection. 
has a yeah. purse. I'm just saying, yeah, is she's, got a purse? Like a <laughs> <laughs> she's got a pooch. Okay. That's a weird you know, ponytail and a purse. That is that's pretty. what all ladies do. They all have ponytails and purses. We all do. No, it, it really the purse makes her look like a crossing guard to me. Like yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that the first time I went and explored this site, I just created a gallery with some old paintings, mm -hmm. and, and I went in and and just randomly there was a person in my gallery, and I had no idea that <laughs> that that's what it did. And this sort of weird, ghostly gray avatar walking around, and uh, it kind of freaked me out. And I found out that she was on a tablet at the dentist. Just oh, browsing through just you know, new galleries that had come up, and I was like, "This is this is really strange, but really cool at the same time." Yeah. What did you chat with the? Did you use the chat function? Like, yeah, hey, we, she actually here? chatted with me. She's like, "Are you the artist?" And I said, "Yeah, I'm the artist," and um, all that kind of stuff. It was very, it was a strange experience. I mean, it's still kind of strange. But, yeah, uh, yeah, it is unusual. <clears throat> I don't get all of the uh, live chat. Yeah, the live chat, you have to sort of like click on the bottom of the box to make it all appear and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, well, it just cuts off certain words for me. Who is guest 538? We have a guest 538. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to chat with them, but I'm being very slow in my typing. <laughs> oh, there's 538. You can see my avatar kind of Bazzing around the gallery. Yeah. There's five through seven. Three, eight. Do you have... Any questions for? Oh, you beat me to it. Oh no! Well. <laughs> this is telling. Oh, it's telling me what? Telling other people what my email address is. No, it doesn't. Yeah, oh, okay. you only see your own. Okay. All right. Yeah. You went with Jesse Clark. Good. Good. <laughs> you know? I actually went back to Facebook to try to figure out if I could turn that off. And Matt informed me I was hallucinating. Yeah, it only looks that way to yourself. Okay. I think that we've been over this before. I think we have two, and I forget each time. Everything we've done, we'll do again. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. The early onset. So I found that the um, the Three Mile Island photo in the hallway. Yeah. I don't know if you've noticed, it looks like it kind of like floats. Yeah. I'm at it from the other way. I got stuck behind it the other day, <laughs> <laughs> and had to exit out and come back. Um, so hopefully that doesn't happen. <laughs> I'm you got sure stuck in behind a real art museum, the you image. Stuck behind the work, you better teleport out of there too. Yeah, I, I got stuck behind it. Hopefully we don't. Uh, we're not responsible for any <laughs> avatar deaths. Any damage? I didn't realize there is a there is a portal or a a secret trap in your. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a back. <laughs> Interesting looking. I want. I want to just see if I can get behind it now. I just now I'm a little curious. Test. I I think I might have been in edit mode. Oh, okay. Okay. I, yeah, I think I think we're safe. I'm okay. running right into it. I somehow got behind the information desk. Oh, that's what, see, you're looking for a job. Just, no. Is this where is this where uh, all the free alcohol is? Information <laughs> lady. No. I was when you, yeah. So, have you ever gone up to the information desk, lady? Me. Anybody? Me. I think I tried it. When you walk up to her, she picks her head up. Okay. And I'm going to do it. Weird. I'm going to come on over. looking down, and then you go up to her, and boom, her head pops up. When I was trying to move oh, oh, her, hello. I kept triggering her the other day. Yeah. Um, I wish you could ask her. All she asks is whether you want to send a friendship request to yeah. the artist. Done. Should be more. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. Stefan, we have a question for you. Sure. I'm not getting oh. it, so please tell me. Oh. 
the question is how did uh, how did you go about choosing the filters for the individual graphic images? Uh, so I assume that those are the the gray scale images. The gray scale or the uh, let me see if I can write that in. Well, maybe both. Maybe all of the above. Huh? Yeah. Graphic images. Ugh. This chat is definitely buggy. Oh, you can answer it on the video. They should be able to see the video. Oh, okay. Um, well, the the gray the the grayscale ones were just going through, and I actually did it for all of the filters that uh, Instagram has available. Um, the other ones I went. And then, then it was basically a matter of picking which ones I wanted to uh, show. And I, to be honest, I went with the ones that I found more visually appealing. Uh, and then for the the tragedy images, I, it was it was for I basically went through and um, used uh, program Pixlr Omatic, and they've got some more. Uh, sensational filters, and then I brought them through uh, Instagram to give them that uniform square shape, that very Instagram kind of feel. Um, and with those, I really the the decision to choose those was based a lot on what made them more um, recognizable that they've been modified, and not keeping them out of the realm of being too subtle that people would go, well, this is just a photo that, you know, you just copy and paste it here. I wanted to give them a little bit something more. Uh, the Three Mile Island one was a was one of those happy accidents where it was a combination of two different um, color filtration processes that gave this really uh, fortunate purple area right over the, um, the the broom for sweeping up the toxic waste. So... If you could hear that, that is your answer. If not, um, hopefully I'm not ignoring you. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna say I just I am um, typed in that they that you'd be answering them via the video the video screen. So I don't know. Is our delay like three seconds, three to five seconds? So should probably get it. I'll try to put something in there too. Yeah, I think I have a newer computer now, and this is actually doing much better with the chat function, but uh, on my yeah, old I've computer... Older, I've got an older OS going. Yeah, my older computer, like, did not like it at all. <laughs> I freaked out on it, so... Um, I'm just going to ask if, you ha if they have any further questions. All right. Question mark. All right. Did we get a new guest? Did I hear a new guest? I heard somebody come in. Hello, new guest. <laughs> There's a challenge like communicating in multiple platforms. We had a comment uh, posted on the Facebook event page. Uh, Andrew Walker, very interesting exhibition. I think photographic manipulation takes over our lives just as the slant the reporters take on stories. Where the truth lies is always moving. That's, one nice. That's his comment on the show. And I don't know him. Do you know him? He, yeah. uh, he went to grad school with us. He's a Philly, nice. Philly um, guy. He also he was a painter that... Um, began using um, the digital in his practice a lot more. So mm, he's kind of right. done a lot, you know, the last few years have been a, a process of figuring out, you know, how these technological kind of, um, like Photoshop and all the different sorts of um, media can add to his practice. So it's kind of interesting hearing his take. Um, Nice. It's good to see yeah. that 
somebody other than myself enjoys it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. I I find that I was a big um, kind of analog photo person, and mm. now that things are so digital, I I definitely. We, I mean, we've had a discussion. I think I probably said this during our photography discussion, but um, I take far fewer pictures now than I did. I think when I was um, had a film camera because I have so many friends who are yeah. kind of <clears throat> picture takers and I most of my current photos of myself and people close to me are have not been taken by me <laughs> and exist on Facebook mainly. <laughs> so in a public setting. <laughs> Very odd. Yeah, I, I realize I've been using um, Sean's images for my profile picture. I don't know if I ever actually credited him or thanked him oh. for it. <laughs> New message. I am trying to post, but I'm not. I'm not getting any pickup from that. Okay, let's see. Um, guest 540 does not have any questions at this time. Your comment is visible now, Stefan. I can read it. So yeah, you, your comments are visible via chat. Weird. I don't see anybody's. You got so what help, what helps is if you click like click on the live chat and you click on the text a lot. Sometimes it'll start showing you. And oh. It doesn't always work if you use the sidebar. Sometimes you have to actually click on the text that's there, and it'll yeah. show you what's beneath it. I don't I don't know why that happens, but um, yeah. So the last for our last digital opening, instead of having a video. Um, a video chat. We had a, you know, a, a uh, text chat to add on to, um, to in place of the live chat function. Yep. So this time we kind of decided to do a video chat instead of that text chat. You know, just so I like it. Try it out. So, but we, you know, it is kind of, kind of rusty. Or I don't know. Definitely so. gives it a more, I don't know, authentic. <laughs> Uh, experience, I think, being able to actually talk to people. Yeah, we did a video chat um, just a few shows ago. I can't really, it wasn't for the binary. Do you remember, Matt, which which opening it was for? Oh, Miss Veronica oh, yeah. chat function. So Hello, Veronica. we decided to do a video chat instead of that text yeah. chat. So, so, Monica, you're going to have to mute so. your uh, feature <laughs> <Yeah>. extreme. <laughs> it is I was stupid. like, what's going on? <laughs> I, had to, I had to deal with the same thing. <laughs> you can't see. So, yeah. Your, your picture is no longer visible, Veronica. Me? Now you are. Oh. I don't know. We're missing anything. I'm I'm missing a very. You look very pink on my screen. Oh, there you are. I um. I uh, I might be very pink. No, nah, I think it's. I have a feeling it's the light. It's the filter. I think you've the been filter. Instagram filtered. <laughs> <laughs> you've been filtered. It's you. It's oh, the we up, filter. We up the magenta levels on your. <laughs> I did go in and darken the floor with your suggestion, Veronica. Yeah. I was like, I'm being so ridiculously nitpicky. That's totally but fine. Maybe the walls could be like a two hues darker gray. <laughs> I, whoa, that was a lot of beeps. All right. Oh, whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> What is happening to me? You were talking about filters. I went looking for things. <laughs> I want these glasses all the time. So is this Google effects? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. This, is, uh, this is the draw. You, how come you're doing it to me? Uh, you just happen to be the person on the... <laughs> you stop <laughs> highlighting me. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh boy. Boy oh boy. You guys. Really cool. Oh. So Andy Walker has added that photo manipulation tells us that truth is constantly changing. Hmm. What do you guys think of that? Your truth. I think it's hard it's to turn on what you're saying because <laughs> you are being drawn upon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. It's difficult. Maybe, I, maybe apo not. I apologize for um, ruining the seriousness of the moment. Who brought that? Right? That's not me drawing on you right now, Jesse. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why am I the target? <laughs> I, I, I don't even think I can draw it. I have the draw tool on, but it's not working. Um, anyways. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> We're serious. We have to be serious. Stop How do you this. Care for that? This kind of stuff would never happen in a, in a, <laughs> a live gallery. Never. Never. After a few bottles of wine. Yeah. All right. So, what was the question, <laughs> Miss Clark? This changing. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Photo manipulation tells us that the truth is constantly changing. Says mm -hmm. Andy. I don't quite agree with that. The truth. I think maybe our observations of the truth are changing. The truth, or. That does. I think that's the wrong word. Maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it could be perception of truth. Our um, understanding of reality can I mean, change. In a way, you know, kind of what I've been thinking about during the whole process and the whole project, and for months and months now, is that I mean, it really does. You know, when we manipulate photos, we're not changing the event. You know, we're changing our recollection or recollection of the event. Um, we're, we're changing our memory of it. We're not... The reality of the event, regardless of how we perceived it to be or not, will always be what it was, you know, but by, you know, adding one of these filters to it or manipulating it doesn't suddenly make the reality different. I mean, the reality what it was what it was. I mean, it's just like... It's like rewriting a textbook. It doesn't change what actually happened, whether or not the ta textbook is accurate. Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> Did I babble? <laughs> no, it makes, no. Sense. it makes sense. I'm sorry. How do I turn the beeping off? You can't. That that's the um that might have been me. That's that's just the gallery space. Yeah. Oh, I know. Entering the gallery. So um, I was thinking about it's more like taking a textbook and then like uh, throwing a bunch of glitter on it and yeah. <laughs> and maybe pouring some some or like spraying it with gold and then throwing glitter on it mm -hmm. and representing it as some, a different thing. Yeah. The words like the the factual piece of information that is in the textbook that says specific things doesn't change. Yeah. Mm. But the way you perceive that item is different now. I, I can agree with that. Bam. I think somebody... Did I just give you a mole by accident? I hope so. Mole? <laughs> <laughs> Where's that I, mole? I Where's that hot mole, you guys? <laughs> <laughs> I actually I found a program that would add those in. Um, and I, I actually found... Another program that I was playing around with where, um, you know, Marilyn Monroe is pretty iconic. Uh -huh. and her mole is very, you know, part of her identity and how we remember her. And the the first thing the program did was just remove her mole. And made her look oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get that. Her and Cindy Crawford, just take care of that mole. Get rid of that oh, for you. Look that anyways. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm interested. Did you talk about how you uh, picked the the tragic events yet? Um, you know, a little bit off and on. I think um, I, you know, and Jesse brought up what I had said before. I think I said before. Maybe you're just giving me credit for it, but I kind of wanted um, a little bit of distance between some of the events and and you know our current situations. And uh, I was telling Matt and Jesse how I actually had. Um, in place where the Titanic uh, lifeboat images, I had an image of TWA Flight 800, the wreckage, um, being looked at by investigators, and I threw some glue and glitter on it to make it look pretty. And I realized after today and the, the plane that crashed, whether it was shot down or not, it was probably not really the reaction I was hoping to stir up in people. Um, you know, maybe it was a little too, too close to the moment, and I, uh, I, I took that one down, and um, went with something a little bit further back. I also specifically tried to go with things that were um, not necessarily the hand of man, um, you know, willfully destroying or um, taking life. I kind of tried to stay away from things that were. Um, Maybe, maybe could have been taken as maybe it was just in my own mind could have been taken as kind of celebrating uh, an atrocity. Um, so I tried to go with things that were more accidental or um, act of nature um, to kind of remove some of that um, that idea of a uh, like an arch villain type of situation. Um, I had an image that I chose to even remove from my blog where I actually had. Uh, an image from 9-11 that um, I thought worked really well for the project. I just wasn't comfortable with it. I wasn't comfortable with releasing it as um, a somewhat responsible, you know, artist. So, I mean, that, uh, did I answer your question, Veronica? Yeah. Um, I think that makes sense because the whole... The thing that happens with uh, when you put that filter on stuff is you just kind of glaze over it sometimes, and you don't actually look yeah. at what it's showing you. Yeah, we, we uh, respond to the, the pretty and not the actual in some ways. Yeah. So that's an important uh, discovery to make when looking looking at it, you know? Yeah. Have to kind of glaze over it first, then actually look at it and make the discovery that it's a, it's a, it's an already existing image of a horrible disaster. Yeah. And then read the the statement and go, oh yeah, that's the thing. That's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that that does connect to that want wanting to have distance between you know because for tragedies enacted by a person or a group of people, I think that that loss is probably, I don't know, there's more to process and it takes longer, I think. Because I was, I was, you know, actually thinking about your choice for TWA 800 and I, my mind always goes toward Pan Am Flight 103. It's my Parents had students on that plane, so that's kind of very, that is a very big part of kind of my mind in terms of that. But it, but again, like that was not a accident. <laughs> so there's a little bit more involved in that case. Yeah, no, I, 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 I felt as though that was probably one of my better decisions on the, the project. And that, that's why I steered away from that whole, um, you know, kind of beautifying some of the these notorious uh, criminals that I just scrapped that whole project. And you know, I felt I I really I had I had a bit of like I had I had really had a rough day when I was working on that project and felt really bad about it. Veronica, I mentioned before how um, one of the things that I had gone through for this whole during the residency was I had taken images of, um, uh, you know, like, basically like mass murderers or serial killers, and I, you know, I was trying to 
um, you know, run them through the same filters and, uh, you know, beautifying programs that I was for everything else. And it just, it felt, I felt bad doing it. I felt wrong doing it. And I think, I think the, the idea, you know, kind of goes to that idea about um, with these ones that are accidents or natural disasters, there's nobody really, I mean, you could place blame for certain things, but there's nobody saying, there's nobody flipping a switch and, you know, purposely taking somebody's life with those um, right. or making a conscious decision. And I just, you know, yeah, maybe, maybe it would have been a more, potentially more powerful piece or group of images, but I don't know, I didn't, I didn't think I was comfortable with the, being the, the, you know, the person to present those. Because you're, ta you're taking a much stronger stance with those kinds of images than with these kinds of images. Yeah. Here you're like the passive uh, observer sort of presenting what is already there, you know? Yeah. The ideas that are already there, that it's sort of universally understood. But I think that's when things start getting too emotional. Because this is sort of also about uh, like callousness and, and apathy, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah and, I, and I didn't, I wasn't comfortable bringing that, you know, the apathy and the callousness into, um, you know, the kind of that willful destruction of life. Right. Because that's a highly emotional thing. Yeah. So. What is going on on the I don't know. I just got a notification of some kind. Oh, that was me. Oh. I bet you anything. I just plug in what we're doing. Oh, I have to. I didn't realize when you had posted something about me in the past, I think specifically about the residency, it oh. sat in my queue waiting for me to approve it for probably a week or two. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I, uh, I, had, I had nothing ever anything horrible, but basically when I started really being more ser being serious about teaching, I was really realizing that I needed to kind of filter uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. what, um, what was allowed on my, on my feed. Yeah. Um. I know a lot of people who don't they who are teachers that began disallowing um, anyone posting on their wall because yep. um, for probably for that reason. Uh, a lot of I know a lot of teachers that just have kind of pseudonyms too um, as Facebook profiles so that yep. their students have a harder time looking them up. Is what do they do when thing? they find you on Facebook? Like, what are they gonna do? Toilet paper your Facebook page. Huh? They they toilet paper your Facebook page. It was a bad. <laughs> they throw yeah. eggs at it. Yeah. And then realize it's their computer. Well, they're welcome to throw eggs at their computer anytime they want to. I yeah, I mean, awesome. I guess it, it depends on how, if you have a public profile, then, you know, you're more accessible, but if you, you know, depending on your privacy settings, I know one, tr one kind of mode of operation is just to not friend current students and make that a policy, and if your privacy settings are such that other people can't view what you're posting anyways, unless you, they're they've friended you, then you're kind of, you know, free from any kind of impropriety or, like, yeah. you know, putting a line between you and students, I think, is a good thing. Yeah. I have to check that out. Yeah. Not that I think I'll be a teacher much longer, but... <laughs> <laughs> so optimistic. <laughs> Non-issue. Good to see things haven't changed. It's a survival thing. Yeah, I know. I know the feeling. So, regardless of how many people actually end up showing up for this, I'm just happy that it happened. So. Yeah, I mean. Don't feel uh, bad for me. Oh, <laughs> hey! Oh, hey, guys! 
I don't. Don't well, worry. Well, here's the thing. Well, you have no emotions, Veronica. <laughs> People can still watch this video hang out and feel true. like it's happening in real time if they so choose. So That's there's that. Well, I, felt, I felt really bad when I went to create the gallery and I told you that it was at capacity. And you're like, oh, I just deleted some. I felt I was like, oh, no, some of work just got trashed. <laughs> I deleted, don't worry, I deleted my show. <laughs> oh, well, then... But it's Veronica's work. She is the one who curated it. Sorry, Veronica. <laughs> I both lose. I was like, this is the one that can go. I I feel like I have I this is I have jurisdiction to, to remove this at will. So yeah, don't worry. When I first saw it, there was only two galleries visible to me. Yeah, so. yeah. There are a number that we've that are not live now, yeah. but are still saved. And oh, okay. so. I uh I just deleted the ones from the end of my residency. So yeah, um, because it's we have a bunch of uh group exhibitions. I'm just kind of like, oh, I don't know if I want to trash. That's multiple artists involved. Who you know, who knows if we want to? We've never brought a show back yet. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's the thing we'll do. But good to have them, you know, the work we did, I guess. The archives. Um, yeah, well, maybe do some screenshots of past shows, I don't know. Like, we haven't really explored that yet, but, yeah, so don't worry, <laughs> don't worry about it. It was my, it was my show. I have all that work, so. Um, so yeah. one of the things you can do is stalk people. <laughs> yes. You can stalk people? Kind of like... In the gallery, you mean? In general? <laughs> I am one with Matt Ziegler right now. Oh, wait. Let's yeah, I was wondering if you could tell that I kept walking through you before. Yeah. Yeah, that's another thing you can do. You can kind of like, like in the movie Ghost, you can just walk on through. You can Patrick's never play tag in just, a real art gallery. Patrick's wave you. I just Patrick's wave you. you. <laughs> 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 might want to make sure you play on the windows. When you say you're Patrick Swayze. Oh no! Someone's bumping into me. Who did that? Yeah, I just walked right through you like you're Patrick Swayze. Where did it go? There you are. I didn't do it again. No, it didn't let me do it this time. Oh, I'm gonna do oh, you I and Matt Ziegler. Same time. Yep, Matt Ziegler. You've been swayzied. Swayzed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Or Willie, I could say, was it Willie, uh, was it Willie Lopez, what was his last name? The killer? There, I got oh, you. Lopez. Will it? Anyone? We don't follow serial killers like you do. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I guess I'm the only one who saw Ghost five times. Oh, that's memory. what it was. Talking about ghosts, you guys. Jeez. Sorry. <laughs> I take it back. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, Veronica and Matt, you're pretty close together. It's like a sandwich. I just took a picture of you guys. Got to screen a... share that. Anyways. Yeah, I it's sure. fun with the avatars. It's always better when there are avatars in the gallery. We've had a couple of times where for some reason the avatars weren't working and I find that it's always more fun when you have an avatar. Oh, gallery. absolutely. I definitely agree with that. So, see if we have any more questions at any of our places. Wow. Jesse, you're very colorful. What? You're very colorful. Whoa. I'm like the 80s. Oh, Jesse, you're colorful. Lightning. Oh, don't take it away. All right. It's okay. I'll see more. Don't worry. Oh, can you see? This is a picture of all of you. Nice. Oh, very nice. Oh, very nice. Well done. Jesse, I think your eyes were closed. <laughs> oh, well, that's, no, just don't take good pictures virtually or, <laughs> or in the real world. <laughs> just can't quite get the hang of it. Even my avatar is bad. Oh, come on. 
Why am I the Why am I the one? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just the fault on you. Uh, yeah, this the teardrop or is that like a nose drop? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, <gasps> so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Good <laughs> I'm trying to be mature here. Oh. Guys, we have a guest. Oh. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> Guys, be cool. Be cool. Pretend like we're professionals. I mean, act professional. Hello, guests. Do <laughs> 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 what now? Oh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> this is Jesse. You just need to write, I'm with stupid <laughs> on the other side of the paper. <laughs> point, the arrow would be pointing right at Matt on my screen. Oh. oh. Nice. Let's see what it's like on the... Oh, eight. Matt, you look pretty. Thank you. Oh no! <laughs> the guest oh, leave you alone. <gasps> All right, back to work. Back to work. Any questions? Ooh. Hello. Do you know where our guest is? He was. Well, he. Um, Come back. I think over by Diana. Oh, my God. oh, there's two of them. Ooh. Hello. Exciting. They must be twins. <laughs> Twin. At least that one poor guy who was reading your statement for about 20 minutes finally disappeared. <laughs> yeah. He just learned how to read. It's not his fault. <laughs> oh, way to insult the guests, Jesse. Oh. Hello, guests. For those of you who are in the room who want to log in, um, not anonymously, feel free to log in using Facebook. But then come back to the website so you can watch yeah. this highly informative and entertaining uh, <laughs> video stream where <laughs> the uh, professional members well, of Manifesto issue are very professional. <laughs> We're all very professional here. Don't, don't you get it twisted. <laughs> I think I'm going to get a background too, Matt. You've uh, convinced me that I want to go I'm to the beach. I'm making my background become a foreground. Oh, wow, this is kind of crazy what's happening here. Oh, yeah. That's really special. Oh, wait. That's this cool. is, oh, no, I don't like that one. Oh, yeah, this one? Nope. Oh, yeah, okay. Back to the beach. Uh, pretty cool. All right. Hey, we have a cat in the gallery. We have a gallery oh, cat. Oh, the cat. Where? Yeah. What? As a cool mind, I'm not sure if I understand what it is I am doing. It's Bo the cat. What room? <laughs> oh, the cat. Uh, it's a, oh it's guest God. number 548 posted that comment. He says he's Bo the cat, Bo. or she's Bo the cat. Do you have any? What would a cat ask an artist about digital photography? I wonder. Will you see me now? Some of the gray ones look a little bit like, you know, kitty litter. Look. Oh, look at the back of the um, uh, Three Mile Island one. <laughs> Very sand like. Yeah, I don't get any of these messages. Uh, we will, we will relay them to you. I'm going to go ahead and say no crapping in the gallery. <laughs> <laughs> or just cover, cover your business. Or at least go behind the information desk. <laughs> uh, Chris Mullen here. <laughs> 
Chris Mullen? Yeah, I Chris we Mullen. That guy. Oh my god. No, why, why am I being. <laughs> you guys. Drop it. No, Chris, you should stay. Stay in the gallery. I can't, I'm not even here anymore. I'm just a bunch of clouds in sailboats. <laughs> I'm drowning. I'm running out of digital air. Oh no. I don't even exist anymore. <laughs> oh. This is what a world. I'll Chris take Mullen. It away. Well, I'm going to go ahead and tell Chris Mullen no crapping in the gallery, too. <laughs> <laughs> At least go behind the information desk. Or the information the information desk. <laughs> yeah. Or behind the desk where we don't have to see it. <laughs> hey, Veronica, it's a bit much now. <laughs> Going to uh, take my own advice. Oh, come on now. <laughs> They shouldn't like. They shouldn't Veronica have. Veronica Beth is here. Jeez. All right. Bye. 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 Uh, How's it going? Good. Jeez. Who's here? My wife. That's Beth. Oh, hello. Hello. This is Welcome Jessie. to the show. Matt. I can't. I can't see people sometimes. Why? Um. When I go to the Google Hangout page. I, um, for my big screen, all I see is your your profile pictures for some reason. So, yeah. I don't know. But if I watch from our gallery page, I can see you guys a couple of seconds ago. And that's fine. It's a really interesting story, you guys. Right? No. Riveting. No. I'm just no, fascinated thanks. by this whole bow the cat thing. I want to know how you yes. train your cat to get on the computer and work a virtual gallery. Um, Matt, I, 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 I hate to break it to you, but sometimes on the internet, people lie. Don't tell me this. Don't tell me oh. something. <laughs> Guys, I've got, a, I got some breaking news. Uh, Beth was just telling me that she tried to get on and go into the gallery before, and it would not let her. It would not let her. She got some kind of an error. Oh. What well, was she logging in what, through 3D Boss or through uh, Facebook or just on the web on our website proper? I think it was on the website. On the website proper. Hmm. Um, let's see. It was the link that they had on Facebook. The link from Facebook. The link from Facebook. Matt, your link from Facebook. Uh, I've Maybe too many links from Facebook. This is when it said it was an error when it tried to load the gallery. Um, yeah, she, she got something that said it was an error when she tried to load the gallery. I installed the software and everything. You, in, you had to install the software? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the Unity player you need to have to to um, load the gallery. Mm. But it prompts you once you you know get on there. Should should work you know pretty quickly. Um, let's see. Okay, so I don't know. I, I my computer. I clicked on that link and it sent me to um, the gallery page. So I'm not sure, but I'm already logged in. So yeah, it might have. Yeah, the computer, yeah, she, the computer she was on might not be up to date. Um, let me uh, try a different browser and see if, um, because I'm using Firefox. Firefox. Mm -hmm. It worked fine. We had some browsers a couple shows ago. Um, some browsers c did not take as kindly to the 3D Boss um, gallery page. Gosh, gosh. So it was Safari where she was, but I'm on Safari too. But you're doing okay on Safari. Okay. Well, except for the fact I can't read the messages. Yeah. Yeah. 3D Boss has had some trouble with the messaging feature or the chat feature. 
Yeah. Patrick Swayze, you guys. It's feeling lonely. Right into you. Right in. Um, let's see. I don't know. Matt, you have any trouble with the link stuff? No. No. Might not be anything. Okay. I'll do a little futzing. See what happens. What computer? Is it very old? It's not that old. Uh, no, it's old. Is it's it old? Ten years old. Oh, it's yeah, it's old. That might be it. That might be it. User error. Could yeah. Be like a Wi-Fi. Ah, sorry. Was that you? That <laughs> was me re-entering <laughs> again, again. Again, again, again. Again, again. Hey, Someone. keep my numbers up. <laughs> um, so, let's see. Yeah. Well, um, I don't know what to say. Yeah, just uh, 3D Boss is a, is a snob. Apparently, it's a little, a little snobby. Well, it was doing its job tonight, apparently. He's like a bouncer. It's like, uh... Maybe we shouldn't let her in. She looks like trouble. <laughs> She's gonna trash a place, man. Beth Can't is have it. trouble. Can't have it. Yeah. All right. Hmm. How's the, how are things at the beach, Matt? Hmm. Mm -hmm. How can you have an opening without booze? <laughs> yeah, I might grab myself a, a party beer. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be right back. Feel free to mail me one of those. <laughs> I'll get you more. I got some. I, brought, I left it. <laughs> You're stuck. <laughs> this, this is my first one. Check out Jesse's room. Matt, your image hasn't moved in a long time. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. I'm pretty much when, yeah. flipped out my computer. Hello. I don't know who this guy is. Get out of here. He's going through your stuff. Audacity. Um, this is the, the real bow, the cat, I'll tell you. It was a lie. Because the internet's a lie sometimes, Matt. Oh, the cat. <laughs> that's what he. That's who he really is. Masturbating online as a cat, not a cat. It's a lie. Had me fooled. All right. So, anything new, you guys? <laughs> Matt was at the beach again. All right. Um. Wish I could give you guys a beer too. The downside to the virtual, to the virtual world, is that I can't share my things with you. I need to delete these things from me. Oh, there we go. Are okay. you? How many things? Hey, you do you have? <laughs> huh? 
Veronica, you've never looked so good. <laughs> I wish like I wish that was socially acceptable to wear those things in in real life. You should start the trend. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Whoa. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Watch out. Where'd Matt uh, go? I don't know. I don't know, man. Dropping like flies. He went to the beach and he was like, I'm going to the real beach. I'm done. I'm out. I'm out. He's still in the space, which means... I don't know. Oh, but if he... I guess not. I guess that the live feed continues even if it bumps the person that started it. It's interesting to know. Because yeah. it, uh, it was broadcasting. He started the broadcast, but we're still alive. So it's good to know that that occurs, I guess. Yeah, he can't rage quit. Yeah, like you guys can't keep talking. Everybody on. <laughs> <laughs> Giving you the boot. Tired of you guys. Like too much. This is oh. my chat. <laughs> I'm taking over. Um. Yeah. 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 So what do I mean? I guess the question is, when you go to art openings, because I I find what often happens is you don't wind up talking about artwork you wind up talking about other things. Mm. So what would we be talking about if we were physically in this a real space together? What These would the conversation be? Think. It would be about food, be about <laughs> I don't know. Have you guys I'm watched trying to think about it. Yeah. Have you watched what? True Detective. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Would, did you enjoy it? <laughs> I I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I, I was kind of thought the ending was a little uh don't you know, ruin it up a little quick. Oh, you didn't watch the end yet? I didn't let any. No, I, I didn't let any. I didn't reveal anything by saying I, that. I've seen the whole thing. So it's bad. I liked. I liked the end a lot. Yeah, I did too. I I just felt like the the show probably could have had one more episode. It felt it like the last episode. episode. Yeah, I mean, I didn't. I liked the end, the end, but I felt like it's got it sped up really quickly. And yeah, it did. It, Between seven and eight. Like, yeah. Yeah, it could have used a nine just to like keep, you know, could have crescendoed like at a slightly slower pace. In yeah. my opinion. I, I think I can agree with that. But I am. Um, I did enjoy. I did enjoy the show. Um, though I have one. I mean, maybe this kind of. It's um it's your you know, the your tragedy images. Um so right now I started watching Hannibal because it's something oh. like I watch when I, I'm right now visiting my mom, so we have to find things that we all can kind of commune around, communing around the TV. Nothing happens. brings the family together like yeah. Hannibal. <laughs> Yeah, but that's exactly what we were thinking. But the thing is, there's a lot of murdery sh shows, and so we're all like, we all watched True Detective. Like, we started watching it with her, and actually watched all of them with her. And then we're like, okay, we'll watch Hannibal, and it's like, we're all yeah, we're all sitting around watching some pretty gruesome stuff yeah. together. And it's, I don't know, it's it's really well done. So then you kind of defend it, but then there are times when you're like, I don't know. I, I don't know what this is that's happening here. Yeah. What was that? The show Criminal Minds? That yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got really kind of dark. Mm-hmm. Well, well, when you have a show, especially shows that are centered around serial killers, and, you know, you want to, you know, it's not like, oh, it's another, you know, Tied up and strangled, you know, guy yeah. whose mo is, you know, tying ladies up and strangling them, and you're like, oh no, we gotta make it more interesting, and so it's like you imagine these writers sitting around a table. What's the most messed up, up thing I could think of? Exactly, and you're like, I don't need like a, I don't even think, unless <laughs> 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 there are these killers that don't make the news that are really creative and like flaying people and doing yeah. all kinds of. Stuff. It's just kind of 
it's like it's a little weird. Yeah, and it ramps up. You know, as soon yeah. as you do one thing, you have to like kind of.